As we begin exploring this 360-degree view from Perseverance rover on Sol 1525, the first thing that stands out is the raw emptiness of Mars, yet, nothing here feels random. Every rock, every grain of dust, carries a story billions of years old. Look closely at the foreground. These are not just rocks, they're fragments of Mars' ancient past. Some are sharp and angular, broken violently, possibly by impacts or erosion. Others appear rounded, almost smooth, as if shaped by flowing water. Those rounded edges are rare on Mars, and they whisper a possibility, there was once moving water here. As you rotate the view toward the horizon, you'll notice layers rock stack like pages in a history book. Geologists call this stratification. Each layer represents a different time period, a different climate, and possibly, a different environment where life could have existed. Now focus on the scattered tiny pebbles embedded in the soil. Their size and placement look almost unnatural, like the remnants of a dried riverbed. Was this place once a stream, or a shallow lake? Perseverance landed in Jezero Crater, a site chosen because it was once a massive lake billions of years ago. So every texture we see here may be evidence of that lost world. Some locks display holes, cracks, and branching patterns. These features can form through wind erosion, but sometimes, similar features on Earth are left behind by microbes or chemical weathering in water-rich environments. We're not claiming life. But the patterns are worth questioning. Now take a look at the distant formations, jagged ridges stretching across the Martian terrain. These shapes look like the skeleton of a world-stripped bear. Windstorms lasting for thousands or even millions of years have carved these formations, a natural sculpting process called Aeolian erosion. Yet, despite the harshness, something feels familiar. The formations don't look alien, they look ancient. Similar to deserts in Egypt, volcanic fields in Iceland, or dried riverbeds in Nevada. So what are we really looking at? A world that once flowed, flooded, froze, and dried. A landscape that might have nurtured life, and then preserved its silence. Perseverance is not just taking images, it's searching for biosignatures, microscopic chemical clues, mineral shapes, and geological fingerprints that could tell us whether Mars was once alive. As this 360 degrees footage continues, remember. Mars isn't just a planet of rocks. It's a timeline. A puzzle. A whisper from another chapter of the universe. And with every scan, every drill, every image, we get one step closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Was Mars ever home to life? What is your ideas let me know right now.